We're here in Paris. I'm talking to Didier Esten, the test pilot and designer of Airbus's electric e-fan. Thank you for being here with us. Um, could you start by telling us a little bit about what the e-fan is and what the market is for it? Well, we start on a new concept, a new idea of a uh, light airplane. This is so an electric one. Uh, the, the energy just provided from batteries they are into the wings and also the big difference is that we have a, a new mode of propulsion with uh, two uh, electric ducted fan in the, each side of the plane. It's supposed to be the first electric plane to ever be certified and in 2017, I understand. Um, could you tell us what the market is? Who's going to buy this plane? Well, the, the, the principle of this market is about the, the, the school for teaching people for the first flight, I mean the first 20 hours flight at the beginning uh, of the lessons. After that, we have to go on uh, other kind of plane because uh, there is not enough autonomy on that one to bring the people for two or three hours. So why would uh, test pilots want to have an electric plane that can't run for very long rather than a, rather than a motor? Well, the, the, the thing is not so different than uh, any other test on light airplane, but the big difference is uh, we have to think always about the way how to use this ener energy because we don't have so much energy in the, pla in the plane, uh, much less than in other uh, thermal airplane with gas. So this is the first model, but there are going to be other future models. Could you tell us what the, what the future is for electric planes at Airbus? Yeah, that one, it's a two-seater side uh, in tandem, excuse me. But the next one, it's a two-seater side by side. It's probably better to teach the people to have uh, the instructor close of the, of the, the student in the plane. So, and after that, there is a... The, the, the other project is to have the 4.0 with a four-seater with a hybrid electric system. And in the future, there are hopes of creating an all-electric or at least hybrid larger commercial plane. Yes, most probably, but uh, let, let's tell that this is maybe in 20, 25 years more. Not, not now, of course, it's not possible for the moment. And what are the main challenges for designing this plane, but also designing bigger, commercially viable electric planes? What are the big challenges for you? Clearly, for the moment, all it's turning around the batteries, the efficiency of the batteries. Because about the motors, uh, there is no really big problem. The batteries, it's different because we need to provide uh, at least not the same energy that with the gas, but uh, be so more, more close that with this energy, you know. For example, today, to have the energy of one kilogram of, of gas, you need roughly 30 kilo of batteries. Um, do you see parallels between the electric car industry just starting in the late 90s um, but now moderately successful. Do you think that electric planes will follow the same type of uh, progression? Certainly. Certainly because, uh, again, everything comes from the batteries and the efficiency of the batteries and that the same purpose and the same problem for, uh, about the cars, exactly the same. But the mass industry about cars can give uh, more efficiency on the battery for the, the electric plane also. Are there regulatory issues that you're responding to, to have quieter planes and to have more fuel efficient, more um, CO2 efficient planes? Yes, it's uh, an evidence. And uh, for example, on that one, we, we do some kind of special test about the noise and uh, the noise is 66% less than another a uh, two-seater airplane, a regular one. So that makes the first difference. The CO2, of course, there is no CO2 at all. So that's the same way for bigger electric airplane after that. At the moment, am I right in saying this plane is a research project? You don't expect it to be commercially viable or to make money for a long time in the future? Not that one. About the light airplane, for example, two-seater airplane that we, we 
are going to build in the Porsche future, we found that uh, it's possible to have 30% less cost for one hour flight. And finally, quick yes or no question. Uh, by 2050, are we all going to be flying in purely electric uh, commercial jets? I hope so. I would like. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.